Welcome to episode 4 of C++ in 5 minutes. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some basic conditional statements, aka if-else statements. And these are pretty easy to understand. If a certain condition is true, then the program is going to execute this set of instructions. Else, if it's not true, well, it's going to execute a different set of instructions, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So as you can see, uh, we are going to be writing this in the main function using namespace std and with our IO stream preprocessor. So first things first, we need to grab some input from the user. So we're going to throw in an integer. So int integer one and this is going to hold our input from the user just going to initialize it to zero now we need to prompt the user to actually input a number so see out please enter a number and right here the user is going to enter their number so we need to drop a cn down here our extraction operators followed by the variable name, that's integer one. And then to make things neat, I'm going to toss another C out down here and just throw an end all right there, just so the cursor moves down to the next line. Now we need to actually create our if else statement. And this if else statement is going to be checking if the user's input is over 9,000. So we're going to throw our if statement right here, if integer one, which is the input from the user is greater than 9000. Open brackets right here. And this is the code that is actually going to be executed if the if statement is true. So right here, you guys can probably guess what I'm going to write C out in all caps, it's over 9000. Now what do we do if the number is not over 9,000? Well, that's what the else statement is for. So right below the if statement, we're going to type else, open brackets again. That didn't come out as well as I wanted it to. There we go, let me just clean that up. I'm gonna tab this over, else, see out. It's not over. 9,000 and of course this is a string so it needs to go in quotation marks and we'll throw in a sad face because we're sad that's not over 9,000 and we need another endl just to skip down to the next line so everything's nice and pretty and that's it so now if we run this you will see that after it prompts the user and we actually enter something it will print out a message depending on the number that we enter so if I enter in 9,001 it's over 9,000. But if I run the program again and enter a number that is less than 9,000, so if I enter eight, it's not over 9,000. So that is our if else statement in action. The first time I entered the number, I entered in 9,001 and 9,001 is greater than 9,000. So it printed out it's over 9,000. But the next time I did it, I only entered eight and eight is a lot less than 9,000. So that's where our else statement came into play and it printed out it's not over 9,000. Before I end this video, there are a few more things I would like to touch on. The first of those being the fact that you are not just limited to integers up here in your conditional statement. You could use pretty much any data type that you desire, uh, float, double, character, string, etc., etc. I just used an integer here to make things easy. Also up here in your conditional statement, you are not just limited to using uh, greater than, you can also use less than. So if it's less than 9,000, we're gonna say it's less than, less than 9,000. And in the else statement, to make things easy for this example, I'm just gonna change this to null. And by changing this to null, the else statement basically does absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm going to compile and run this. And if I enter a number less than 9,000, you can see that prints out the message, it is less than 9,000. On top of that, you can also use greater than or equal to and less than or equal to as well, along with the equality operator. And with the equality operator, you're gonna see that if we type in exactly 9,000, it's going to print out this message. So it is 9,000, it's 9,000. So let's just compile and run this. And if we enter in exactly 9,000, it should print out the message. 
and it does. And finally, I'm going to use the inequality operator. So that's going to be an exclamation mark and then an equal sign. And it's going to print out this message if we type in anything but 9,000 for our integer. Um, so it, this is going to be, it's not 9,000. And then in our else statement, I'm just gonna change this um, for the example. So I'll throw in a C out, C out, it, it is, 9,000. And if we compile and run this, you will see that if we enter in any number besides 9,000, it's going to print out this message. So if I enter in 55, for example, it's going to say it's not 9,000. If I enter in 9,001, it also prints out it's not 9,000. But if I enter in 9,000 exactly, this if statement is not going to be true. So it's going to jump down to whatever's in the uh, else statement right here. So if I enter in 9,000 exactly, it's gonna print out it is 9,000. If you're really set on wrapping your head around C++, then I would highly recommend having a written resource laying around. And this is a great book. This is C++ Premiere Plus by Stephen Prada. I bought this last week, read through it, and I love this book. I had to use a uh, different C++ book for college during my uh, C++ courses there. And this blows that book out of the water. It's much easier to read. I love the way this is laid out and it has everything, pretty much everything that you need to know about C++ in here. Tons of examples. And if you want to check this out, I will put the link to it down in the description. It's also very affordable, um, especially compared to most college textbooks. This was 30 bucks off Amazon. I couldn't even rent my C++ book that I had for college for 30 bucks. That thing costs at least 60 bucks to rent. So um, a real bargain, tons of content in here, good content, well written, lots of examples. And if you want to check this out, once again, link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.